Welcome to today's news. The news headline. Something Peter Obi needs in courts against Tinumbu is missing. We might be wasting our time. Eragbe says. Thank you for tuning in to today's news. But don't forget that you can subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please listen carefully to the end. If you recall, Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, challenged Bola Tinobu's victory in courts. The Labour Party's prominent member, Anselm Eragbe, has cautioned that Obi's case is not receiving enough support at the moment. Eragbe claims that for some of the voting districts where the presidential election took place, the Labour Party does not have the form EC8A. He claimed that Obi's case depends on the form EC8A, which is used to record election results at the polling unit level. He said that the Labour Party did not have the old form EC8A since there were not enough polling unit agents present during the presidential election. A video of a rugby was posted saying in it, I am saying to Nigerians, that even though we are in the tribunal, something is missing. What's missing is the intended use of the polling units, the effective form EC8A. Whatever I say, I say it to the globe. If anyone disagrees, I'm saying that until individuals like me step forward, and take the initiative in this process. It is obvious that things are lacking. We might be wasting our time in the election petition tribunal because the election is decided on the basis of facts, not the length of a 100-page written petition. Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, who after the presidential election has gone to court to seek legal redress, written different petitions, having 100 pages just to show that he actually won the presidential election, claiming that the people came out to vote in their masses. But remember that during the presidential election, the Labour Party do not have agents to look into those processes. Their agents were few. So what Eragbe is saying is that for to Obi to win this LM, those election petitions, he has to have a strong basis, a strong foundation and a strong evidence and the strong evidence is the EC8A form which was used in every polling unit but since Peter Obi do not have enough um, pardon enough agents to cover all the polling units in Nigeria meaning he cannot have all the results in every polling unit and this can be used against him the only thing that is lacking is this EC8A form. Peter Obi, the presidential candidate, who is unable to account for over 42,000 polling unit agents under Aburi. So the party and even the presidential candidates should do their work more if truly he wants to reclaim his mandates. Peter Obi believes he won the election. 
and also is ready to reclaim his mandates. He wrote different petitions, making four of them his respondents. The All, the All Progressives Congress, Ashura Jubala Metinubu, Shetima, and also Ainek, from respondents one to respondent four. Tinubu is the first respondent, followed by his vice presidential candidates. And he has also brought out evidences concerning both the presidential candidates of the APC and the vice presidential candidate of the APC, claiming that Tinubu is a drug lord and also has fake results and he has been alleged of crimes. And also Shetima that before Shetima was, before Shetima, after Shetima has taken the ticket for the vice presidential candidate, that was when he went to resign from senatorial place. So he has different evidences. But Eragbe, who is a member of Labour Party, had said that the only thing that can make their their petitions in the tribunal actually work out is if Peter Obi can have all the EC8A forms in all the polling units in Nigeria. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view to this? Now the question is, where can you collect such documents, EC8A, when the Labour Party in that presidential election was unable to account for over 42,000 polling unit agents under Aburi. Do share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.